in her terms, that's no great achievement. And here's one of her problems here. The 16-year-old from Gladsov. Revelation third in the Let European Championships. C2 disappointing in the short program. Surely she can't be as disappointing again. She has got her heights set very high indeed. Second in the Grand Prix event in Paris. Fourth in Skate Canada, fifth in the Grand Prix final. And here she is in 14th place, but I don't think that's going to last. She's looking for a place inside the top ten. And she may well get it. Here's a better took Tamasheva. Great start, triple lutz, double toe. Ooh. Triple lutz, think she was round? Yeah, she was round and kept the hand off. She did well, that really went up, that one. Fantastic rotation on that triple flip. Double axle, triple toe loop. Well, that was really fantastic, the way she got that elevation on the second part of the combination. Oh, she's really popping them now. Triple salco, double toe loop, double loop. Just can't miss, triple loop.
Marvellous. If only she'd skated like that in the short, she could be looking at a medal. But she's coming from way too far back. She's 12 points behind, third place going into the free, so there's no chance she'll get a medal. But she could be shooting up the ranking. That's important. It's important for Russia. It's very important for her. 16 years of age. Just lacked a little personality. I thought, I thought the interpretation of the music was spot on, but perhaps her personality could shine through a little more. But technically, Chris, she was great, wasn't she? She was fantastic, I tell you. That was a mighty fine comeback from this young lady. Remember in the short program, she had that horrible fall on the spin, got nothing for that element, and uh, then she completely mucked up the double axle, didn't get anything at all for that. So two out of the uh, seven elements in the short didn't get anything. And to come back and fight away through this free program like that was uh, very, very creditable indeed. Some great jumps in there. Here she's setting up the look. She's got a lovely technique on that. Keeps the back leg nice and straight. You can see she thought about putting the hand down, but uh, had the weight over that right foot enough to be able to... Whoa, that was close. Let's move to St. Petersburg to train with Alexia Mission, who's produced so many stars. Koshenko, one of them. Yeah, he'll be thrilled with that performance. Look at this. This was one of the highlights for me. The elevation on that second part, that's not easy to do. Double axle, triple toe. It's difficult to get the triple toe on the end of the axle because you can get a bit of swing off the axle, but uh, not in this case. That was fantastic. There's that three jump combination with the double loop on the end. She was right on the money this evening, no doubt about it. Going to see a big score here. Remember, she's got the highest score of the year so far, that 131.67. It's the best that anybody's got all season so far. That was in the Europeans, where she got a medal. There'll be no medal this time, but she's really going to shoot into the uh, top ten, and uh, it could be some way up the top ten. Mr. Mitchin looking proud. She needs 104 to take the lead. Well, she'll do that. Taking their time, I think they're reviewing a couple of those jumps. The free program score 119.52. Well, I thought it could have been uh, higher than that, to be honest. They don't look overjoyed by that. And you can understand. Again, she suffers from the mistakes from the short, so she goes early on. But she's the leader at the moment.